On December 21st, I watched the events unfold from my fourth floor office, overlooking the patio on the northwest side of the building. I listened to people screaming at the office windows, enemies of the state, traitors, and we hate you. It was unlike any Capitol protest I have ever seen. That morning, as those who attempted to break into the Capitol deployed pepper spray and pulled the fire alarm, I rushed fran frantically through the building to make sure that no legislators or staff were at risk. And then in the early afternoon, I ran to my window and looked down to see men having taken a long piece of railing or metal and using it as a battering ram to break down one of the doors to the Capitol. And then I saw a journalist being pushed and shoved by protesters as they yelled at him. And as that was happening, I had no idea what these protesters were, whether these protesters were going to do him serious harm. After the events of that morning, events set in motion by Representative Nierman's actions, stunning numbers of riot police arrived at the Capitol to keep the people in this building safe. And I must admit that seeing dozens of police in riot gear in the rotunda of this building was shocking and frankly dystopian. I'm grateful for that work today, and I'm incredibly dismayed that it was necessary. Madam Speaker, this is potentially the most serious and historic vote any of us will ever take in our career as legislators. After re reviewing the evidence in this case, as well as the research and writings on disorderly behavior, expulsions, and due process, I have come to the decision to support House Resolution 3, and I urge my colleagues to do the same.